Hi everyone, this is Daniel Scranton, and I'm going to channel the Arcturian Council. <laughs> Continuing to rely on our ability to sense and feel in order to know what it is that you all would best benefit from there on earth. You have the ability to do this as well with yourselves and with others in your lives. You have the ability to help so many and help so much through that willingness to sense and feel what is actually needed in a situation. You also must pay attention to your own feelings, to the sensations that occur inside of you. in order to give yourselves what you need, in order to be the 
version of yourself that you want to be and ultimately in order to ascend with the greatest amount of ease and joy possible. If you ignore your feelings, the sensations that you're getting, then you are ignoring the messages that are coming to you from your guides, your higher self, your oversoul, the universe, source, and countless others. If there is a very accurate way to summarize what the shift in consciousness is, that summary would be that you are shifting from being mind oriented to being heart centered. And your heart is all about feeling. It's all about sensing while your mind is all about figuring things out, thinking about the past, the future. It can be used appropriately to focus you. A well-trained mind will focus you in the direction that it is best for you to be focused in. And therefore, it is a good practice for you to pay attention to your thoughts, but then ultimately to recognize that your thoughts are also pointers. And they are pointing you in the direction of your feelings, your vibration. And as you pay more attention to what's going on inside of you, what you are feeling, what you are sensing in your body, then what you are thinking about a situation, you will always benefit greatly. You will always be able to go deeper with other people as well. You will not only be able to help them, but you will also be able to connect with them to feel compassion for them and to let them be the reflections to you that they most certainly are. There is always something that a person is bringing to you that you need to acknowledge is also in yourself. There's not one pointless interaction in all the universe. Everything is pointing you back to you, to that inner reality that you have, where you feel and where you sense what is really going on. We don't have bodies anymore but we can still sense and we can still feel. It is easier for us now than it was when we had physical bodies. And so we do understand what you are going through as you shift and you let go of your thoughts, your ideas, your beliefs, and your tendency to focus on past and future. You are getting better. That is something we want to give you as well. You are getting better at sensing and feeling. You are getting more sensitive as individuals and as a collective. And it is serving you all very well, no matter what you are feeling right now. Embrace it. Well, the Council. 
and we have enjoyed connecting with you. Oh. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I don't know if you saw Tolay. I definitely heard her. <laughs> she may have come in. <laughs> she may have walked in here. I don't know. Um, I still don't know where to look so that I'm looking at you so you see my eyes looking straight ahead. <laughs> I'll try looking at the the center of the screen here. Um, thank you for watching. Um, I had a great uh, birthday yesterday. A lot of time with the family outside on the new, the new patio furniture. Um, some time with Talea on the couch where we were just chilling out together, um, doing some drawing too. I drew a whale and a robot and <laughs> some, some, uh, glyphs, you know, some, some codes and, um, yeah, just, just a great day. I got everything unpacked in my office. My office is almost finished now. I still need to organize some things and get curtains. I'm getting curtains put in right now. I have a makeshift curtain up here to keep the sun from completely just it too, being too much brightness. A good sun is good, but too much is too much. Um, I don't know if you guys, a lot of you did notice all the beings flying around last video that I made. Um, I noticed it and I didn't notice them when I wasn't channeling. Like I, I don't know what happened just now, but because my eyes were closed. But I could tell you that after I channeled the last one, there there were no more. They weren't flying around in here anymore. But um, I definitely don't think it was just the camera and some kind of flare on the camera either. Um, thank you for the birthday wishes. If uh, if you sent them, thank you. Um, I've got my advanced group channeling class on Thursday to promote here. That's the seventh. Starts at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern, uh, if you're in the U.S. And um, it's by phone or computer, either one, whatever you decide. And it's recorded, so if you don't, uh, if you're not able to attend live, you can attend by the recording, and you'll want to listen to the recording, even if you do attend live you'll want to listen to that recording over and over again because it will have all these um, processes on it. Um, and it's for people who already feel a certain amount of comfort with channeling at this point. That's what that's the intended audience of it. Uh, what else is happening? I finished Mr. Corman last night. I could not recommend that show more on Apple TV. It's so good. I loved it. Only 6.4 out of 10 on IMDb, which I don't understand. Um, <laughs> and so, um, yeah, that was that was exciting to watch like three episodes in a row. It's a very complex show. It's it's not. I think probably why it's not getting the huge numbers from the audience is because it's not. All, it's not just about entertaining us. It's supposed to get us to feel things and think things through. And so it's a little bit more, there's more depth in, in it than the average uh, show. And f interestingly enough, Apple has it listed as a comedy, which it's not at all. It's not funny at all. It doesn't try to be funny. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all I got to say. I, I'm sure I'm forgetting something that I was going to say, but um, I got kind of a late start here blocking out the sun and everything. Got my, my comfy chair in here now because um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give me the best um, light all day. So that's why I moved it over here and um, got the lights up. Some of them, I'm probably going to do more lights as we find more lights. <laughs> oh, and my wife got me that comforter that's over the other comforter, the polka dot 
duvet there is um or duvet cover is underneath a weighted one it's weighted and it's um and it's organic cotton so um it's it's perfect it's just what i wanted for my birthday even though i didn't i had forgotten that i told her i wanted one and then so it was a surprise and it was perfect and i slept for eight hours again last night so i'm really feeling so rested and good lately and the move is almost nearing completion here we're getting almost all the boxes open so it's great <laughs> i hope your weekend was great too i love you all i'm back to work today with clients which is fun for me i enjoy that and um i will see you back here tomorrow namaste blessings please hit the record i mean <laughs> the subscribe oh thank you whoever it was who told me how to stop the woman from saying you're now recording um, please hit subscribe if you're watching on YouTube, wherever you see it, subscribe daily. Everywhere else, just come back tomorrow. I'll be back here again doing it with the Arcturian Council. Okay, bye everybody.